If you're a growing business looking for a CRM that is easy to adopt, aligns with your teams, and is able to adapt with you over time, you've totally come to the right place. I'm Mark, and today we're gonna show you how HubSpot CRM is built to grow with you. HubSpot CRM seamlessly integrates all of your data, your teams, and your customers in one easy to use platform. To get started, you're gonna need a HubSpot account. It's totally free for life. Head on over to HubSpot.com and sign up for your free account. Now, let's take a look at how easy it is to set up your company and contact records in the CRM so that your sales, marketing, service, and operations teams can all look at the same customer data in one place. Check it out. So to get started, you're gonna click on contacts. Contacts are the center of everything in your HubSpot CRM. Everything is built off of the contacts. Simply click contacts, and here you'll be brought to a page where you can look at all of the contacts. Now these are easy to filter. Right now I can filter them by contact owner, and I click that and it'll show you these are all the contacts I currently own in the CRM. I can also filter by these predetermined fields like what date was that contact created? When was the last activity date for this contact? What is their lead status? Or there's a lot of advanced filters that you can select from and customize your CRM. Now, if I wanna look at any of the customer data from one of my contacts, I can simply either click on preview and in the right-hand toolbar here, you'll see that I've got some data, the customer name, their company, their email, and any other information I've got on properties for this contact. Now, if I want a little bit more detailed, I can simply click on the customer's name and it'll open up a whole new window with all of the customer data. Here you're gonna see that right from the left toolbar, I can take a note, I can send this contact an email, I can even give them a phone call, create a task reminder, set a meeting and more. In this top toolbar here, you'll see all the activity that has occurred with this contact over time. You can click on them and expand them. You can even reply to an email directly in this field. You can also look at any notes, log in and check any emails, look at any call notes or recorded phone calls that you had, any tasks, or any meeting notes that you have from working with this customer. You'll also see on the right-hand toolbar any deals that you have in the works, any tickets that they have with customer service, or any payments that are pending, or orders or shopping carts are all going to be shown right here on the toolbar. This is one of my favorites. If you've emailed them any attachments, all of your email attachments are gonna show up right here in the tab, so you don't have to go search through your inbox to find them. The contacts are the center of the HubSpot CRM, and they are a super powerful way so that all your teams can look at a customer and see a complete snapshot of that customer. Now, let's take a look how to set up a company in your CRM. Simply scroll to the top left, click contacts, and scroll down to companies. Here, you're gonna see a very similar interface than with contacts. So you'll see the company name, company owner, what data was created. And if you wanna edit any of these columns, for example, maybe it's important to me to see what industry this company is in, I can just drag this to the top and click apply. And now I'll see that industry is right here where I put it. It's an easy way to customize the CRM with this drag and drop feature. Once you click in on a certain company, you're gonna see a lot of information. Again, the power of HubSpot CRM is that anybody in your CRM, whether they're from sales, marketing, or customer service, they will all see the same dashboard here and get all the same information so there's no loss of data. Again, with the company, just like with the contact, you'll see activity, notes, emails, calls, tasks, and meetings in the top toolbar. You'll also see any contacts that are associated with this particular company, any deals, tickets, payments, and some of the other features that we saw in the contact. And again, you can always take action directly in this toolbar by clicking note. You can just literally click it and take a note right there. That note will be saved in your CRM and be visible to everybody on your team. If you've got existing customer data in an old CRM or in a spreadsheet, don't worry, it's super easy to import into HubSpot. Let me show you how to do it. So to get started, you're gonna click on contacts. And in the top right corner, you're gonna see a little field that will say create contact or import. To get started, we're gonna import. So once I click import, I'll simply follow the prompts and it will walk me through exactly how to import this. We're gonna use one spreadsheet, it's a CSV file. We're only gonna report on one object right now and we're gonna import all of our contacts. I'll click next, go ahead and choose that file. It's right here on my desktop called CRM download. Gonna make sure that I'm updating the contacts and it's in English. Go ahead and click next. 
And now you'll see that HubSpot is actually checking for any errors in the data. This is where it gets really cool. HubSpot automatically maps the data fields from your spreadsheet into HubSpot's CRM. Watch this. And you can see that it's actually mapped all of my fields with no errors. First name mapped to first name, last name to last name, etc. I'll go ahead and click next. I'm gonna create a list in my contacts of these new contacts. I'm gonna agree that everybody's waiting to hear from me and I'm gonna set these folks as marketing contacts so I can send them marketing emails. Finally, I'll click finish import and watch HubSpot do the magic. Now, it takes a moment, but you'll get an email once it's ready. And what's even better is you'll see how many new records you have populating in real time. If any records were to get updated, it'll tell you. And look, my import was completed with no errors. We are ready to go. And now when I go back to contacts, and now we're gonna see all my new friends are right here in the CRM. However, I notice when I look at this, it doesn't have the information I need right away. I'm gonna go ahead and click edit columns and make this view customized for me and my team. First thing that's important is it's really important that my industry for my customers is right up top. Next, I really am not interested right now in the create date so I can get rid of that. But what is really important to me is the title or their role. I'm going to click job title and move that one all the way up to the top here. So when I look at these columns, I should see name, email, job title, industry, etc. I'm going to go ahead and click apply. And now you can quickly see I've just customized my dashboard. Name, email, job title, industry, and I've got the data that I need when I need it in one simple place. Let's say I want to add a contact on the fly. I can simply click create contact. And remember, in the CRM, the record always goes to the email, not the name. So we can put in a brand new email. I'm going to put in my friend uh, Fred at fredslogistics.com. This is Fred Fahey. And I can go ahead and make sure that he is the COO and go ahead and click create. And that person is automatically added into my CRM. I'll see his record right here. And all of his information is in one simple place, easy to use. As your business grows and your marketing efforts evolve, you're going to want to create custom lists of people to market to or just lists of customers for your sales team to reach out to. Let me show you how easy it is to create customized lists in HubSpot. Today, we're going to build an active list to see which customers I've interacted with more than 90 days ago. To get started, we're going to give our list a name, last contact, 90 days, select active list and click next. Here, we'll start to add some filters to see who's going to make it on our list. The first filter is I want to make sure the contact's job title is either CEO or COO. So I'll go ahead and add in CEO, COO, or I'll even add in chief operating officer. Here you can start to see the list is already previewing on the right hand side. Next, I want to add another filter to see which contacts have not been contacted in over 90 days. So I'll select the property last contacted is down here is more than 90 days ago. And I'll go ahead and click enter. And again, this is now showing on the left that this group title will have anybody whose job title is CEO, COO, or chief operating officer and they were last contacted more than 90 days ago. Once I'm ready, I'll go ahead and click Save List. Now that we've created an active list for prospects that we have not contacted for more than 90 days, as soon as they reply to an email or email you, they will automatically be moved off of this active list. This makes list maintenance easy. It happens while you sleep, it happens while you eat lunch, or even drop the kids off at soccer practice. Your CRM is working for you while you sleep. Now that your contacts are all set up in your CRM, let's enable your sales team to start selling using the deals pipelines in your HubSpot CRM. Check it out. To get started, scroll up top to where it says sales and select deals. Here you'll be brought to what's called your sales pipeline. You can see the different stages of a sales pipeline. And if you want to edit them, it's super easy. Click the drop down, click edit pipeline. And here you can either change the names of the stages. You can change the probability that the deal will close as they go on and even add stages if you want to. Since this looks good to me, I'm going to go back to my deal pipeline and show you how to add a deal to your sales pipeline. To get started, click create deal. First thing you're going to want to do is give this deal a name. So we're going to call this um, global logistics deal. 
We're gonna make sure it's added to this pipeline. And right now I've already connected with that customer and we've just started to uncover their challenges. We're estimating that this deal is gonna be an $85,000 deal. They are a big hotel chain that wants to buy a bunch of donuts. We can select a close date, make sure I'm listed as the deal owner. If I wanna give it a new business or existing business label, I can. I can give it a different priority and I can associate it with any contact. So I'm gonna go ahead and select that with, let's see, his name was Christian, I believe. There he is. We're gonna go ahead and select him. Now that we've added Chris, we can go ahead and select a company, add any line items from quotes and create that deal. You'll notice that that deal is gonna automatically populate into my deal pipeline and it's gonna be showcased in a whole new deal ticket. If I click back here to deals, you're gonna see that this deal is in the proper stage in the Uncover Challenge pipeline. You'll notice that it gives me the dollar amount, the projected close date, and at the bottom here, you can see very simply how much money is in each stage of your sales pipeline at any given time. Now that the deal is created, I can simply drag and drop this deal throughout the sales process as time goes on. If I send a quote and it is received, I can drop it in there. And you'll notice at the bottom here, the deal totals are updating every time this moves throughout my pipeline. Finally, that sale is closed in one and we are happy to add our next deal and keep that pipeline full. Now, let's talk about reports. A lot of organizations are data rich, but insight poor. That's not the case with HubSpot. We have tons of pre-built reports and dashboards ready to enable your sales, service, and marketing teams with tons of great data to act on. Let's jump in and take a look. Simply head up to the top toolbar, click reports and dashboards. Here, you're going to see a whole list of pre-built dashboards with reports in them that you can select right out of the gate. Things like business unit overview, chat conversions, or if you scroll down, you'll see all of our different marketing dashboards and even sales dashboards. I'm gonna go ahead and click on the sales dashboard. It includes five different reports and I can select which ones I wanna include in the dashboard. I'll simply go ahead and click next, select if I want it to be private or viewed to everybody and I can give it a little name, sales dashboard and click create dashboard. Now, any data that's already in your CRM is gonna populate directly right into your dashboard as soon as it's ready to go. Dashboards are a great way that you can look at your CRM data in a simple, easy to use interface. Simply click on reports, look at dashboards, and you'll see the dashboard that you created with these reports. What's nice about this is you can drag and drop these reports anywhere you want. So if you wanna move them around, if you wanna shrink them and make them a little bit smaller, it's totally customizable based on your team's needs. And that is how you use dashboards. There's tons of automated features and capabilities in your HubSpot CRM. Check out our video on how to use sales sequences to see a great example of automating the repetitive parts of your sales outreach. HubSpot CRM is built so that it's easy to use and adopt for your team. It's easy for your sales, marketing, and service team to align on customer data in one simple platform and it's grown to customize and adapt with you as your business grows. To learn more about how to use HubSpot's free CRM, click the link in the description below to get started today. I'm Mark from HubSpot. Thanks for watching.